In today's video, I'm going over the Rode PSA1 microphone boom arm, how to set it up, and why I think it makes a great addition to your microphone desk setup for gaming, voiceovers, and podcasts. Uh. Hey guys, this is Eric of Immersive Tech TV, and on this channel I review awesome tech, gadgets, apps, and accessories. So if you're new here today, definitely consider subscribing to catch future videos just like this one. Also guys, just to let you know, down in the description box below, I'll include a link where you can find both the Rode PSA1 boom arm, as well as the kit bundle that comes with the boom arm and the Rode NT-USB mic. So if you haven't already seen my review of the Rode NT-USB studio microphone, that's actually the mic I picked up to use with this boom arm. Now the reason I wanted to get the kit bundle that came with the boom arm was because while my microphone does come with its own desktop stand, as you can see, it's only about three inches high off the ground and it's made of plastic. So I wanted to pick up something more durable and more convenient to hold my nice mic. So I'm gonna break this review down into three parts. First, I'm gonna start off with the build and design quality of this boom arm. Secondly, I'm gonna talk about how to set it up on your desk or table. Thirdly, I'm gonna talk about microphone compatibility, meaning which Rode microphones is this boom arm designed for and also which other brand microphones is it compatible with. So with that being said, let's first start off with the build and design of the boom arm. The Rode PSA1 microphone boom arm is a studio boom arm designed for studio and home recordings, podcasting, gaming, and voiceovers. The PSA1 offers a horizontal reach of 32 and a half inches and a vertical reach of 33 inches and a full 360 degree rotation dual axis swivel mount for accurate positioning. Together, its long extension and full 360 degree rotation really give you a lot of versatility in working with your particular recording space and recording setup. The PSA1 kit provides two desk mount options so you can easily mount your boom arm to your recording space. You can either use the included desk clamp or their included desk insert style attachment for a more permanent solution. Weighing roughly about 4 pounds, this boom arm has a very durable fill and supports most microphones weighing between 1.5 to 2.5 pounds when combined with a shock mount. Now, if you are wondering if this boom arm will work with your microphone, it does come with a standard 3 8 inch thread adapter, which is the universal standard for most microphones, but it does also include a 3 8 inch to 5 8 inch thread adapter for larger microphones as well. Lastly, Rode does include Velcro cable wrap so you can wrap your microphone's cable neatly to the boom arm in order to reduce cable clutter on your desk space. And now I'm going to talk about how to set this boom arm up on your table, desk, or other flat surface. As mentioned earlier, the PSA1 does come with two desk mounting options to choose from. The first is a desk clamp, which you can use to mount your boom arm on desks up to 55mm thick. This is the mounting option that I personally chose because it allows you to relocate your boom arm if you wish, and it's extremely easy to set up. Simply place the clamp onto your desk or flat surface and tighten it with the handle until it doesn't move. Then, just place your boom arm into the clamp and you're all set. Now, the second option is a desk insert style attachment that requires a little more work, but it's great for a more permanent option, and it can be inserted into desks up to 70 millimeters thick. It is important to mention that the second option will require drilling a hole into your desk so you can place the insert inside it. So if you're looking to get started recording right away, then the first option, which is the desk clamp, would definitely be the easier route to go. After you've installed your boom arm, then you just have to screw in your microphone into the thread adapter on the end of the boom arm, and that's basically it. In this video, I'm attaching the Rode NT-USB microphone to the boom arm. This is one of the main studio microphones that this boom arm is designed for. If you'd like to see my review of the NT-USB mic, I'll link my review of it down in the description box below. As you can see, one of my favorite features of this boom arm is that it's very sturdy and it's extremely easy to adjust the mic to your height and position. Plus, I love how it's durable enough to hold my mic at any position without dropping down, which is a common problem you might notice with lower end boom arms. Lastly, one other accessory that goes great with this boom arm is a shock mount to help reduce vibrations in your audio. If you'd like to attach a shock mount on your boom arm, it's also very easy to do with the PSA1. Just screw the shock mount onto the boom arm first and then screw in your mic to the shock mount. In this video, I'm attaching the Rode SMR shock mount to my boom arm. Now, different shock mounts are designed for different mics. This shock mount just happens to be designed for my particular microphone, the Rode NT-USB mic. If you'd like to see a more in-depth review of the Rode SMR shock mount and which Rode mics it's compatible with, I'll link my review of it down below in the description box. And before I wrap this video up, I just want to briefly cover which Rode microphones this boom arm is designed for and also which other brand microphones it's compatible with. The PSA1 boom arm is designed for the Rode NT-USB microphone, the Rode Procaster, and the Rode Podcaster. But again, if you don't have one of those mics, the PSA1 does support most microphones weighing between 1.5 to two and a half pounds when combined with a shock mount. And while the Rode PSA1 boom arm is not designed for other brands of microphones specifically, 
I have seen many other users successfully mount other popular studio mics to this boom arm such as the Blue Yeti, the Blue Snowball, as well as Samson and many Audio-Technica mics. So overall, I feel this boom arm makes a great add-on if you have a Rode series mic or even another compatible microphone. It really does have a premium quality build, it's very convenient to adjust the height to your comfort, and I like how its swivel mount allows you to move the microphone in and out of your recording space with ease. Now there are some cheaper boom arms out there, but from my research, they start to sink because they can't hold the weight of the mic, plus they can't extend or swivel as smoothly. So the way I see it is, if you're already investing in a nice mic for your gaming, podcasting, or streaming setup, you may want to consider a boom arm like this to protect it. Again, if you'd like to learn more about this boom arm, I'll link down below where you can find it, as well as compatible shock mounts depending on your Rode mic. So let me know what you guys think of the Rode PSA1 boom arm. Do you use a boom arm with your microphone? Thanks for checking out today's video on this Rode boom arm. If you found the video helpful, hit that like button and definitely subscribe to catch new weekly videos on more awesome tech, gadgets, apps, and accessories. Also, if you would like to see a more in-depth review of the shock mount I used in this video, the Rode SMR shock mount, feel free to check out my review of it right here. Lastly, if you have any questions about the Rode PSA1 boom arm, feel free to leave them down below in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to connecting with you guys in the next video.